हेलो दियर्स हावर यू होप यू आर फाइन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल ड्रॉइंग टाइम विथ स्टोरी इफ यू आर न्यू इन माई चैनल आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ एंड माई चैनल विथ यू आई एम सुरैया परवीन एंड इन माई चैनल आई सिलेक्ट एन ऑब्जेक्ट और अ थिंग टू ड्रॉ एंड फाइल ड्रॉइंग यू विल नॉट गेट बोर्ड बिकॉज आई विल नाइट यू स्टोरी और टेलीबस इंफॉर्मेशन और सिंपली वी विल टॉक विथ ईच अदर about the topic i select uh, for the painting or the drawing whatever you say so this is the part 2 of the story the sock dry anomaly and it's my second galaxy drawing sorry it's a painting so uh, the story ended this way dex's room was all messed up his mother gave him only one hour to uh do the things right but he wasn't able to do that in the meantime there was a stranger in his room who said that he maintained the space time continuum so that was the end of the first part and now we will start the second part okay now it's story time the stranger's name was link link shook his head Dick, no one can come in here until we sort out the bridge. The bridge, queried Dick, not liking the sound of that very much. That is why I am here, replied Link. You have got a level two bridge in a drawer over there, and the department has sent me to sort it out. A bridge in my sock drawer? Dick shook his head. Look. I am sorry but I have got no idea what you are talking about and I was kind of already in big trouble even before you arrived and I really should let mom in cuz she must be wondering what is going on and thanks for helping me with the bookcase and all that even though I am not quite sure how you did that but um thanks anyway and i really have to be going now he started acing towards the door link sighed look dick i am sorry but you can't leave and your mom can't come in not yet anyway this room is sealed and it will be until the bridge is secure i have thrown a field of slow time over the area so as far as your mom is concerned virtually no time has passed since i arrived anywhere and the same goes for everyone and everything else in the area apart from us that is how do you think you got out from under that bookcase it hasn't stopped falling it's just doing it about a million times more slowly now than it was before i activated the field i normally wouldn't accept any locals when i am cleaning up a bridge because the less witnesses the better but in your case it was either that or seeing you end up as i stain on the carpet so time say it dick nodding and acing faster towards the door okay now i understand perfectly clearly link had some reality issues to work through and dick decided he would prefer to leave him to it link smiled you think i am nuts don't you okay how do you explain that he asked pointing dick looked where he would indicate it it took him a moment to comprehend what he was seeing but when he did his jaw dropped his eyes bulged and his stomach did somersaults his brain was so busy directing these various acrobatics that it forgot about his legs which folded under him and deposited him gently back on the floor what he was looking at was his waste paper basket his skateboard has sent it flying he remembered that the thing was it didn't seem to have stopped yet flying that is it hung suspended in mid air with an airborne spray of rubbish still spread around it 
how are you doing that? I told you, said Link. Slow time. It's not floating. It's just falling very, very slowly. Time has slowed down for everything in this area. Everything except you and me. Understand? No. Link sighed again. Look, it's really very simple. He frowned. Actually, it's really horribly complex. But I will give you the super simple summarized version. Okay? Dick nodded. What else could he do? Dick, I am from future. A long way into the future. And in the future, the human race has done some stuff which caused weaknesses to develop in the space-time continuum of our universe. Now, when one of those weaknesses coincides with a highly chaotic area, a bridge can develop. A doorway, if you like. A doorway to fire, asked Dick. Anywhere, replied Link. Another place, another time, another universe, anywhere. Bridges are incredibly dangerous and need to be resealed as soon as possible. That is where the Department of Continuum Preservation comes in. We monitor the continuum and whenever a bridge is detected, an equilibrium like me is sent in to reseal it and clean up the maze. So we have some handy high-tech future stuff like slow time fields to help us. Um, you say that these bridges form in chaotic areas? Dick looked around. So, you mean? Link grinned and nodded. Dick swallowed. My room got so messy. It broke the universe, basically. Yeah. Okay, so how do we fix it? Already being done, replied Link, looking at the device on his wrist. The DCP is channeling a bidirectional gravitational barrier through my QTA hair which will seal it up QTA X Dick Quantum Digital Assistant that is QTA said Link and then seeing the look on Dick's face don't ask anyway the bridge is being held just fractionally open until we send our visitor in the cupboard over the back through and then it can be shut. Dick had completely forgotten about the mysterious flying object which was still rattling the cupboard door furiously. What is it anyway? Hard to be sure but I think it's a fairy. A fairy? exclaimed Dick. Yeah, but not the kind you were thinking of. Fairies are genetic mutations gone wrong from the distant future. They have somehow gotten loose in the continuum of whenever and wherever they are from and pop into our universe occasionally. They are small, fast, mean and very tough. In any case, it doesn't belong here. It needs to be sent back where it came from. How? Well, being extra dimensional, it's not affected by the slow time field. So, we are going to do it old school, Link replied, pulling his club out of his holster. He moved over to the cupboard. Okay, watch yourself, he warned, pulling the chair out of the way and riffing open the door. The fairy sticked out and Link swung, but it swerved and he only caught in it a glancing blow. It spun crazily towards Dick and landed with a crash beside him. Dick looked down at it in wonder. The tiny figure was about 10 centimeters long and dressed in a pale, loose fitting outfit. On its back was a pair of wings, beautiful wings, which twist as the fairy shook its head and gone and he she got unsteadily back to his feet. It is a fairy, breathed Dick. The next thing he knew he was pinned against the wall with a tiny face just millimeters from his own. Who are you calling a fairy? 
the creature growled, drawing back one of his fists. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, Dex said, astonished by its strength. You will be, the fairy replied in his remarkably deep voice. For future difference, we prefer genetically modified winged humanoids of short stature, okay? It grinned evilly. Not that you have much of a creature. The tiny first, the tiny fist swung towards him and Dick braced for the impact, but before he could find out what it was like to get beaten up by a fairy, Link smacked it with his club again. The blow sent it in a spiraling arc across the room and into the open drawer it had originally burst from. Link slammed it shut and after a few seconds of rattling, there was silence. He glanced at his QDA, okay, all sealed. He walked over to Dick, who had collapsed in a heap on the floor and held him to his feet. Dick. I have got to go, so I will make this quick. Don't tell anybody about all this. Nobody would believe you, and even if they did it, it would just cause trouble. Trust me, I really shouldn't do this, but I will leave you the slow time field on for another hour, so you can just clean up before your mom comes in. He pressed some buttons on his QDA. Oh, and one more thing, the bridge has been sealed, but the weakness in the continuum is still there. If things get chaotic enough, it could open again. He grinned. So keep your room tidy, okay? And there was a flash of blue light, and he was gone. Dick blinked and stood motionless for a few seconds. Then he started tidying like he would never tidied before. And it was a very educational story for all of us. Um, in maximum times, we show some laziness that uh, maybe we can uh, tidy the things after some times. But we left in just dirty. Uh, we shouldn't do it. We should clean up the things, the messed up things as soon as possible. It will uh, keep our environment tidy, neat and clean and all will be sorted out very good. So how was the drawing, sorry painting because as I was drawing uh, with the wild pastel color so it was, uh, I was uh, sort of habituated to tell the drawing. So it's a acrylic painting of the galaxy uh, how you liked it please let me know in my comment section because it's always open for you i eagerly wait for your precious comments suggestions and opinions and i appreciate them all and if you forgot to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when i release a new video a new story just for you and one more thing if you have any request or opinion or suggestion for me or for my channel please let me know please feel free to write it in the comment section i really appreciate your comments so see you soon with a new painting with a new story till then bye stay safe